Hello and welcome back to Tiffany Talks Tarot. Today we are looking at the Eight of Swords, which the Golden Dawn called the Lord of Bondage or something like that. Its astrological placement is Jupiter in Gemini, which personally I have and it does drive me nuts. Um, so Jupiter is in its detriment in Gemini, which means it doesn't like being in there, probably because Gemini is quite all over the place and Gemini is quite expansive <laughs> and the more kind of over the place and more expansive you get, the more it just feels like there's a struggle with that energy and so it can feel like a, a compression or a pressure cooker in some way. And it's like this sense of, you, you, oh, there's so much that wants to come through, but it's in such a challenged, pressured way that it just becomes frustrating. Also, if we look in the story of the swords, you know, that we've been seeing, we've been seeing the battle, we've been seeing the story of the battle, we've been seeing war in an archetypal way, we've been seeing things to do with integrity, things to do with fairness, and uh, what you have here is also part of that story, isn't it? I mean, you could make a real epic classic out of the suit of swords, something like Gladiator, Robin, Wood, um, Hood, <laughs> even, I'm just thinking of another tarot deck, which I think is called the Robin Wood. <laughs> So you can you can really see the classical damsel in distress energy here. So you saw maybe in the five of swords the sense of invasion in the se sex. That's that lord of bondage coming through. <laughs> in the six of swords, <clears throat> you had the uh, rescue. In the seven of swords, you had that exile feeling. And you've got that here in the Eight of Swords as well. It's almost as if, say you were thieving in that Seven of Swords that we were speaking about before. This is what happens, yeah? That karmic history that I've been talking about, whether it comes from your actual present day actions or your beliefs um, about things not going your way and maybe having to do things that maybe aren't conforming in some way and how that can actually rebound on you if it's not in integrity. And what I mean is integrity is in line with the highest good. Um, so what you have here is that person that has been uh, exiled. But it's interesting if we look, there's eight swords, which means that actually behind her is freedom. Yeah, and so she can't see, she can't see her own freedom, she stood in the way of it, but actually if she just backtracked, if she was just a little bit more um, able to kind of like let go of some of her identity that she's wound up in her head with, then maybe she could just ex escape. Another way is through the emotions as we see here with the water, yeah, so there are ways and means. And the eight in tarot represents strength. So it's all about the strength of mind that you have, yeah, and how to use it in a way that strengthens you and empowers you. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want to learn more about how actually the tarot can help you to transform your own relationship to yourself, to others, the world and your higher spiritual connection, then uh, there's a get yourself connected application link in the bottom there. If you just click it and fill it in and if it's all successful then we can get on a free session and see how um, I can help you get even more connected. All right, take care for now. Bye-bye.